Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2019. I cannot believe it's 2019. How do we get here? Where did the time fly by? I decided to like revamp my YouTube channel. Uh, I, I wanna say it was like a mid 2017 and it's been a very busy, exciting, fulfilling year. Um, I've been trying to create different types of content for you guys, whether it be tutorials, whether it be business advice, makeup advice, tips and tricks. I do long videos so you guys can get to know me and short, quick ones for those who you, those of you who just want to get to the point. Um, anyways, I hope it's been working for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for subscribing. Um, I hope to deliver some amazing content for you this year. I have great plans, some great collaborations. So if you're not part of the family, please make Make sure to subscribe um, today I'll be teaching you how to do a winter skin makeup tutorial it's something that I've been doing for like the past month and products that I've been loving in order to get the winter skin makeup look so if you want to learn how to do this keep on watching or we can just I'll have the lollipop. you had a lollipop? I'll bite the lollipop you bite the lollipop yeah. who gave you that lollipop Mama gives you a banana, Papa gives you a lollipop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. She's awake and I'm so glad I did this before she came. So, I love you guys. Say hi. Hi. Can you say subscribe? Bye. Say subscribe Describe. with your finger. Subscribe. <laughs> I love it. It's a happy new year. Happy year. Without biting. Happy new year. Happy new year. Okay, that works. All right, we're gonna start off the skin. I've already moisturized and everything. I'm going to use the Hourglass Mineral Primer. I used to use this every day on all of my clients, like years ago. Um, I used to do bridal makeup, as most of you know. And this just had like, this really pretty soft focus blur effect and it would make the makeup go on just so silky and so beautiful. Um, the only thing I will say is if you're super oily, maybe stay away from it only because it does have silicone in there. Uh, but normal to dry, um, it's beautiful. And it has like a sheen, but not really. Anyway, so I, I prep my skin. What I do wanna use is what I've been using actually for a few weeks since I got it. It's the Lisa TA. Tint Lumiere Nude Glow and it's a ultra fluid serum foundation. It's very watery and it reminds me of the um, Chanel Aqua Lumiere that they had a few years ago. So I love this liquidy effect. It goes on really lightweight but then it does have coverage. It's not really a tinted moisturizer but it's not like a full coverage foundation either. And I'm going to use a buffing brush for this. I'm gonna go ahead and use Hmm, which one do we want to use? Yeah, we'll go ahead and use this one. This is the Morphe E7 brush. It's just an angled buffing brush. Um, I'm going to take my Hydra Enhancer because I don't want so much coverage. Like I said, I just want to wet my brush a little bit because I don't want it to go on heavy even though it's a very lightweight foundation. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. As you can tell, it's really liquidy. And we're just going to take that with the buffing brush and just spread it all over the skin. And if you guys know me, normally I like medium coverage. And I love that the pigment on this has coverage, but then it just feels like serum. It doesn't even feel like foundation. I'm using the shade uh, Natural. And I think they had about 10 shades, I'm not sure. But this is from Lee Swatier. It's one of my favorite lines. All right, I look really pale right now, but you can tell the coverage. So you can still see my skin through, which I like. It's very hydrating. It's not luminizing, but it has like a sheen in there. So your skin just looks really healthy and it doesn't look so matte or cakey or anything like that. Um, in order to stay with this vibe, what I'm gonna do is take my concealer. I'm using the LC Cosmetics um, Complete Remedy Concealer. And I'm gonna take my primer and I'm going to mix that with the concealer. 
I don't want a full coverage concealer and this concealer if you haven't already tried it it's pretty like medium to full coverage um, it doesn't crease but it does have that coverage effect and I still want my skin to show through along with having a brightening and concealing effect so I'm just gonna take a brush and you can take any primer really I use the LC primer because it has a little bit of like a pearlescent in there um, so it's really gonna just help brighten up this area and I'm using Morphe M428 again using a microfiber brush will help it go on a little bit more sheer again if this is not your vibe you can use it as is but this is kind of what I've been doing and I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin and makeup because again your skin just shows through a little bit more so I'm just gonna take a, a velvet sponge and set this concealer and my whole face in so I'm just gonna take the tip of that press that into place that into place and then I'm just gonna flip it over and just set everything in voila all right um, again during the winter time our skin is a lot drier generally um, right now my skin is really dry because a it's winter and B I'm pregnant so I think it's the hormones have a lot to do with what's happening with my skin right now so I'm not getting oily throughout the day and those of you who are oily are probably not getting as oily right now so you want to use stuff that are a little bit more lightweight on the skin and just makes your skin look fresh so I just received this Lee Swatier um, highlighter wand fluid illuminator highlighting fluid <laughs> that's what it's called okay it looks like this it's so pretty and it has like a liquid lip wand. All right, I'm just gonna take that highlighter fluid put it on the back of my hand and use my sponge to apply it. And we're just gonna apply it right here, on top of the cheekbone. This is so per pretty. It has like a pearlescent effect. Makes your skin look wet. I don't know if this comes in several shades. This is the only one I have. Um, it wouldn't work for like tan to darker skin. It would look too frosty, too white. But if you're light to medium, this will look gorgeous on you. But really just find a liquid or cream highlighter that works for you and your skin tone. I'm also going to take some of that and put it right across the bridge of my nose. Flip it over to mute it a little bit. Lip. All right, to set in my face, I'm just gonna get rid of these creases. You need to set in your concealer with a little bit of powder, even if you're dry, just something really lightweight to make sure whatever concealer you're wearing does not crease throughout the day when your oils take over. So I'm gonna take the MAC uh, Skin Finish Light Plus, and I'm just gonna apply this right underneath the eyes love this powder again something I've been probably using for a decade now all right to set in the rest of my face I'm using Laura Mercier candle glow sheer perfecting powder in number two I'm going to use a fluffy brush let's go ahead and use the Kat Von D face setting brush and take a little bit of that powder a little meaning a lot and we're just gonna set in the rest of the face and again because I have a liquid underneath it I'm not rubbing this powder, I'm setting it in by just patting it on the skin. You can also do this with a translucent powder if you're really oily, so don't feel like you have to use a glowy powder to set this in because we already have enough glow underneath it. But again, winter skin is generally drier and that's the direction we're going in. I'm really just avoiding the highlight area because I'm going to pop on a powder highlight on top of that. Before I do the highlighter, we're going to go ahead and bronze up a little bit. I'm using the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Ambient Powder. I'm going to use the same brush, but um, because I'm not trying to contour, I'm just trying to apply an overall color to my face. Ooh, this was a lot more pigmented than I thought. So you see what I'm doing? We're not really contouring, but we are using contouring motion. 
And again, this bronzer has a sheen in there, just like that candle glow powder, just like everything else I've applied. So it has that glow, which helps enhance. So imagine you add all this glow, the primer, the foundation and everything, and you just set everything in with a matte powder. It's just gonna, you know, um, get rid of what you've been trying to do. I'm just gonna pinch that and slightly contour the sides of the nose and go in the crease. Now I'm going to use the Brilliant Nude Strobe Light Blush. Again, it's from Hourglass. Same family of colors, a little bit more brightness in there. It's more of a blush. So I'm gonna switch over into a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the LCF8. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that. All right, last but not least, we're gonna pop on a highlighter. We're gonna use the LC Pearly Glaze. And we're just gonna apply this at the highest points of the cheeks, forehead. I'm trying to make a habit to not look in the screen when I'm doing this, but I feel like I really need to see what I'm doing besides a mirror. The last thing that's left to do is brows, which I'm gonna do off camera, and as you guys know, the Hydra Enhancer Spray and a lip gloss, be right back. All right, did my eyebrows off camera. I'm gonna take the Hydra Spray. This is key when you have a light setting powder because this will hold your makeup in place in replacement for all the baking that we didn't do. So we're just gonna let that dry. All right, just gonna pop on a lippy dose of colors. Barely there. Such a pretty gloss. All right, that is it for my winter skin glam. Um, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Again, feel free to adjust based on your skin type and feel free to adjust the products that you have. If you don't have a luminizing, like lightweight foundation, just take your full coverage foundation, drop a few um, drops of uh, the glow enhancer or any dry oil or pump a few drops of like your primer into your foundation and that will thin it out. So don't feel like you need to purchase every single thing I have. These are just pieces that I personally have been loving and have been using for the past few weeks that work for me. And this can be really day or night. It's really your preference. If you're not the type of girl who likes wearing a lot of makeup, you could do this at night and pop on some shimmer on your eyes or you can do this on an everyday glam which is what I do when I do put makeup on. Anyways, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'd really love to hear from you guys and see what other tips and tricks that you want to get from me. So comment below, let me know. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.